I threw 108 feet, three inches in the discus, and I took third because first place was John Powell, fresh off the Olympics. Second place was Tim Vollmer, fresh off the Olympics, and there's only three of us, so I got third. Damn. And I asked it's about throwing, and guess what I didn't do? I didn't write it down. All right. And I, and I look back on that day, and I go, you didn't know what you didn't know. Right. And that might be, you know, it's uh, it, it's been said a million times. I believe Socrates said it first, but, you know, there's a circle, and what's inside the circle is what you know. Right. And there's a line that's what, and then outside the circle is what you don't know. And the line is everything you know that you don't know. Right. The problem is, as you learn more and more and more, the more you realize about what you know you don't know. Right. I'm, I'm reading a book called, uh, the guy's name was Montel Bro. He was the guy who basically came up with the concept of fractals. And I'm reading this book, and almost every page, it's like I know what he's talking about on fractals, but it's high-end Einsteinian quantum. There's quantum fitness on one sentence. There's Einstein in the second. They're having breakfast. You know, the next one, they're talking about the Manhattan Project. The next sentence is talking about this art museum they went to. The next one is listening to Beethoven. And I'm sitting myself going, you know, I know all this, but mostly I know what I don't know here. Right, yeah. And when it comes to the world, our world of fitness and performance, uh, as you expand, the, the, the humbler and humbler you should get. Right. It was, it was funny, just before you logged on, I was watching a video of this guy who knows everything. And I've watched him in his career shrink. So he's an absolute ex, ex, you know, he's an expert on this little tiny dot. You know, right. it's sad to watch it happen because, uh, you know, he's always right. He's always right. Everybody else is always wrong. Right. He doesn't research. He doesn't believe in science. He doesn't believe in other people's experience. He's always right. Kind of funny. I hope I'm, I hope I don't get that way. Right. You're always right. Um, but it's it's it is a thing in in our field where people think that. Uh, they get to a certain point where they're absolutely convinced they're right. That's a yeah. tough lesson. 